So today is a chill day. Don't got too much to do today. Just gonna be relaxing, checking out the night bazaar, checking out everything that I haven't checked out already. I got some cool uh, Thai desserts. So I'm gonna check these out and see how these are. And uh, probably check out maybe the walking street they have here. They have a walking street as well, which I made a couple videos, which you might already have so well. But um, yeah, you know, there's so many cool things. I'm in the really touristy area here, so everything's a little bit more expensive, but there's also more things kind of fun to see. So I just want to see what you can do on a budget. Let me repeat that, on a budget. Because you guys can ball out on a budget here in Thailand and not really break the bank, which is the most amazing thing. I mean, this cost me 50 baht, which is literally a dollar. Two pastries that probably would have cost about 10 bucks in the States, 50 cents. You guys do the math. There's so much opportunity here for pensioners and digital nomads, or even retirement, or even disability people like myself. You get yourself anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred. You can live comfortably if you just are mindful on the few things that you need to do. And I'm gonna make a video about what to do before coming to Thailand or another country similar and living on a fixed income. There's a few things that you want to take care of. First of many is probably debt. <laughs> and making sure that you don't have any expenses other than expenses that you are going to have when you come here. And you always wanted to be in a situation where you're not living paycheck to paycheck or pension check to pension check or retirement check to retirement check. What you what you want to do is you in any situation, you always want to be put in a situation to where you are able to live and also save at least two three hundred bucks so if you're living on a thousand that means you've got to be living at least on 800 or you're living on 15 you got to be living on about 13. you want to save some money so if there's any instance that you need extra money you have it you need to make a book and you always want to have uh some money in, in the savings of course you know possibly five thousand ten thousand dollars to make sure that you're good all right enough about that that'll be a different video look at this guys here are some cool things I might I might have to take this on a spin so I can properly see see everywhere I can properly see everywhere so yeah why not? I'm gonna go ahead and take me one of those. All right. So I had a, a great pastry. Um, it's about midday now, I think a little past noon. Matter of fact, let me check my clock. It is 11.23, it's so early right now. Um, thinking about getting a massage. Here is the daytime for the night bazaar. And, and uh, nighttime, it's super packed you got performances here so you see most of the things are kind of closed down right now so even the massage shops on the main street are closed so you have to go to some of the side streets to get uh any massages done here in the night bazaar area got to find a good one of course so i'm gonna try and find my best one um i've been kind of getting a massage a day here in thailand for 10 bucks or less than 10 bucks you can't beat it um, I think some come out to Thai massage is about 250 baht, which is like six dollars. I mean, you know, that is the best of the best right there. And the quality is superb. Things that you would pay probably 120 bucks in the States for at some of the big uh, places, you know, here six, seven dollars. I mean, unbelievable. Talking balling on a budget here. And the biggest thing a lot of people do here is live really comfortably below their means. And as a foreigner, you will do that. See here, it's a bunch of uh, motorcycles. And it's the easiest way to get around. Literally, to get a full tank, it's just about two to three dollars. I mean, you can't beat that. 
And also, if you want to travel around the area, you can take a bus. These buses range from about a dollar to a few dollars. So the ticket is super uh, inexpensive for a ticket. And I mean, quite good, quite good. So I am, I, I am probably going to, so now I'm probably gonna just relax this day right here. I mean, I, I think I spent a few dollars, like $4 on the pastries and drink, but that was because it was one of those little fancier places. So you're gonna pay a little bit more. But honestly, uh, I paid a pastry from the first spot was a uh, 25 baht each so 50 baht and that runs you about one dollar so that is what normal pricing on a thai pastry is going to cost you about 50 cents to one dollar so i mean you really can't go wrong there so right now we're just walking through the side streets i'm just kind of going through and seeing the cool stuff might have to turn around a little bit park the car a little ways back driving around thailand is really cool if you have a american or even a western driver's license all you got to do is go get yourself an international driver's license and you can drive anywhere for us american citizens it's with triple a gives you international driver license lets you drive in about every civilized country in the world pretty much and uh you have no no qualms no questions just have to get used to driving on the opposite side of the road so that's the only thing make sure you understand you got to drive on the other side of the road and you're good to go and of course the driving style is a little different here a lot of people you know are aggressive when driving so just make sure you kind of adapt and you always on your P's and Q's, especially in a different country. So we kind of got more shops here. Today's just purely entertainment and, and walking around. Got a guy on a motorcycle with a Steph Curry jersey, go Warriors, dubs all day. And this is where you really get the more uh, understanding and, and cool insight for the, the, the city is when you get on foot and you walk around and you get to see and feel the vibe of the city. And the thing about the US is you don't really get that a lot of cities, not really walkable. All right, so camera memory is going low. So I'm gonna sign out. Um, you'll see some more videos, but uh, you know, if you have a passport, especially a Western passport, then what are you waiting for? Come out here to Shanghai, come out to all these other Southeast Asian countries or just Latin America. There's so many, to, there's so much to see. There's so much to do, I mean, it's 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 really really awesome and if you're into you know living abroad or anything like that then this is right up your alley so come on and get out here this is esports eric and we balling on a budget <laughs>